Hey guys, so I just filmed this Jess New Girl makeup tutorial, but I totally forgot to put on these glasses. So yeah, there you go. There's the look. There's the real Jess girl look. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey guys, it's Wendy, and today I have a Jess from New Girl inspired look, and her look is all about bold lashes, really pretty natural makeup, perfect skin, light, like really nude, pinky or browny lips, and um, bright blush is what I noticed she wears a lot of the time. So I wanted to recreate that for you because it was actually requested, so let me start. I'm going to start with my eyes because I just don't want there any fallout to be on my face because like I said before, the eye makeup is really simple but the face is like the perfection it has to be perfection so I'm just putting on my Urban Decay eye primer right now and I go ahead and put that up to my eyebrow because it helps um like if you're filling out in your brows it helps your eyebrow makeup stay so I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in so the eye makeup is really soft it's kind of smoky so I'm gonna start with this Wet n Wild Vanity Palette, and it's actually from the matte side. It's this color. As you can see, it's a very, like, neutral type of color. And I'm just going to apply this all over the eyelid and up into the crease some. Just very lightly. You don't want it to be too dark. It's just sort of like a sweep of eyeshadow that she has on. So sort of like that, just onto the lid and into the crease. Using the other side of this brush, I'm going to take the lighter color up here for my brow bone, and this is matte as well, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of that underneath my brows, and then go ahead and blend those two together. And now for the liner. The liner is very um, smoked. You can't tell, but it's very smoked. And on the, oh, where's my eyeliner brush? Here it is. And, um, it's just there, I guess, sort of to emphasize how, like, bold and thick her lashes are. So it helps to make the lashes thicker. And I'm going to be using this Greed palette from Wet n Wild. Mine's a little bit dirty, but that's okay. I'm just taking the matte black color in that. And this is a Rockin' Republic 205 brush. It's just an eyeliner brush. Now I'm going to take this other brush. It's really small. It's just to blend that out and like kind of smudge it and smoke it out some. I'm also going to apply a little bit of the black right underneath my eyes at the corners. And I'm going to wing the eyeliner with the same brush and the same eyeliner. Just a soft wing, nothing, nothing too dramatic. So like that. It's really subtle. It's really subtle and soft, but that's all you need. And smoke it out again. So, just very soft, subtle, and not too dramatic. And now for the lashes. I feel like her Jess's thing is lashes perfect skin, and bright cheeks. I feel like that's what she's all about. So I'm going to take these Ardell Beauties. They look like this. They're very natural looking false eyelashes, and I'm going to go ahead and apply those. Okay, so now that I have my lashes on, I'm going to let them dry. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm actually going to start putting on my primer. 
because I want it to sink into my skin so that when I'm ready for my foundation, I can just put it on. So, I'm actually going to be using two primers. I'm going to be using this little sample I have of the Benefit Pore Professional just because I can't find mine. Mainly on my T-zone, once again, because I want that perfect skin look. And I have pores on my nose, my forehead, and around my cheek area. And it's also where I need the most coverage, so I'm just going to go ahead and pat that in. And I'm also going to use Laura Mercier's Radiance Foundation Primer where you would put highlighter. So there's an ice cream truck outside. So on the cheekbone basically because Jess wears highlighter. It's very subtle, but she does wear highlighter. Does anyone else think it's appropriate for the ice cream truck to be going around while I'm doing a Jess inspired makeup look? I feel like Jess would love an ice cream truck. So, my lashes are dried and stuff. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and the false eyelashes together and then apply some mascara to them. I'm going to use this on my lashes. And then I'm going to go over with them with um black eyeshadow again just to cover that like lash line. And now I'm going to apply my under eye concealer and I'm going to use the Illumi Cover by Fusion Beauty. And this has a nice like salmony coloring to it. So it really covers under eye circles well. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows because while not huge and thick, just eyebrows are like, you know, nicely defined. And I'm just using my MAC Brow Pencil in Lingering. Oh, and I forgot to apply mascara to the bottom lashes, so I'm going to do that now and I'm just using Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. I'm also going to apply a little bit of concealer um, to any blemishes or like r really, um, really red spots that I might have on my face. And now that I feel like my concealer is um, set under my eyes, I'm going to go in with Bare Minerals Well-Rested Powder, well Powder to brighten up and set the concealer down there because this really, really brightens up. And I'm going to double and use this as a highlighter once I put my foundation on. And I want to hide and apply that to the inner corner some to really give me that bright eye look. And I'm going to use my... um damp beauty blender sponge to apply my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. I'm actually going to apply a little bit of um, concealer on like really really a little bit because I have pigmented lips and the pink's not going to look right. So, okay so like I said I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder and use a little bit of that as highlighter. And if you need extra coverage, I would um, use like some sort of colored powder to set your foundation. I don't need a lot of coverage, so I'm going to just use the ELF HD powder with this ELF Kabuki face brush. I'm just going to set the um, tinted moisturizer. Now, I'm just going to take a white eyeliner pencil and use it on my waterline to really brighten up my eyes. And now for blush, Jess wears a... Um, a bright pink blush and I had a really hard time finding the right one and the closest that I could come for me is Pink Passion by Elf Cosmetics and mine's just depotted this is like three dollars from the studio line so I'm just gonna take some on a blush brush and apply it to my apples and a little bit up And she doesn't really wear bronzer that I can tell. For lips, I'm going to apply this Senna Cosmetics Cream Lipstick in the color Tiffany. Looks like that. It's a really just like neutral pink color. And I'm just going to dab it onto my lips. 
To top it off, I'm going to apply my Lorac little lip gloss in the color Vintage. This is sort of like a brownie nude color. So that's it. Um, it's actually a really simple look once you get the hang of it. It's just bright blush, neutral lips, and lashes with smoked eyeliner. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day. Bye.